Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to take a look at using a bug net with a tarp to make a tent-like enclosed structure that gives you the protection of a tent without the extra weight. That's the idea. I've got two different bug nets with me, an old school USGI bug net that you can get pretty cheap on the surplus market. I think I paid about seven bucks for mine. I've seen them go recently anywhere from like 10 to 20 and they are out there you can find them i also have a a newer bug net from pamali for their fort canvas baker tent really cool tent but i don't think they make it anymore but maybe you could find one used or something similar but my idea behind this is that this is going to be a lighter weight setup than a full tent you know some of my favorite tents they run anywhere between five to 15 pounds so this is definitely going to be a lighter option tent like protection for sub five pound weight range pretty cool welcome to endurance room so in here this is the savota hacka it's 12 liter day pack i've got both bug nets each about a pound and then right here is my tarp this is the helicontex super tarp it is three by three or ten by ten and I've got cordage, tent stakes, anything I need for shelter building inside of here. This is about maybe two pounds with the extras. The tarp by itself is about a pound, maybe a pound and a half. I'm going to throw up a ridge line first that we can use to suspend the bug nets, and then we can run the tarp right over top of the ridge line. Let's check out the pomoli first. There you have the Pamali Fort bug net. Not too bad, right? It's a little tall for you know something low profile, but you know you could you could tuck it away in a good spot. Little fully enclosed A-frame bug net. Pretty cool. Let's run the tarp over it and see what it looks like. All right, so I've got three corners staked down. The fourth corner, I keep about 12 feet of paracord. And this lets me use like a plow point variation that I frequently use. But today we're gonna use it to fly that corner. Honestly, that's, that's pretty awesome. It's about a two and a half pound setup. You've got a fully enclosed bug net tent with the rain fly. And then if it gets cold out and you want to close it all the way up, you just pull this. Let me see if I can get into it. Yeah, no problem. You've got room for yourself and your gear, tons of space. For two people, you could make it work. It'd be a little tight, but you know, you wouldn't be getting bit up. So right on, let's check out the USGI bug net next. So here we have the USGI bug net and this is basically just a big open net that is designed to be used with the canvas pup tents. And all around it, we've got these nylon tie outs and I'm just gonna use those to tie off to the ridge line and then we can throw the tarp over it, stake it out. We've got some options with this one. So let's run a similar tarp setup as last time, the A-frame, and then we'll see what we can do with like a lean-to or an open face shelter design. So first off, let's tighten this up. Just did a, a shoestring knot, but if we wrap our lines around the ridge line a couple times on either side and keep some tension on it and then tie that down we'll make a prussic loop now we can put tension on it and tighten our net up easy 
to use the tie outs to stake it down, I'm just gonna make a closed loop using our shoestring knot again. Pretty cool. Very similar concept as we had with the Pomali tent, but this one has got an open floor, so you need your own ground sheet. But it definitely seems like there's a bit more room than the Pomali had. So I dig, I dig both. And the weight is pretty comparable. I'd say once again, it's about two and a half, three pounds for the full shelter with cordage, tent stakes, the bug net, and the tarp. So that's really decent, you know, three pounds for that. Awesome. Let's check out one more setup. I'm gonna try and run a more open face style tarp design and then work the bug net into that. I'm gonna leave the bug net just like it is and try and run an Adirondack tarp shelter over top of it. It's a lean-to variant that gives you three sides of cover. This corner is gonna be our peak. So just pull it out over the center. And then I'm gonna go in two loops from the end. And then at the back, we're gonna mirror what we have going on up here. So here is our corner. We'll go in two loops. In my center tie out, I keep a 12 foot paracord guy line on. Ready to go. Let's see if we can make the bug net fit the shelter a little bit better. Right on, I think this is pretty cool. We've got coverage from end to end with our Adirondack shelter here. It is nice and tight all the way around at the bottom, at the top. The only spot where there's any gap is right here. There's about that much where something could fly in on both sides. If you wanted to, you could just take some cargo tape and tape the net to the inside of the tarp. It wouldn't hurt anything and it would definitely tighten it up and make it a bug-free zone. So very, very cool. For the amount of weight that it adds to your shelter kit, I think it's definitely worth considering. This is sub five pounds with cordage, tent stakes, the tarp, and the net. So definitely lighter than most tents that you're gonna run. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you got any questions, just let me know. I'll try and help. If you got any experience running something similar, let me know down below. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.